Okay, and we're back. So, I once again went ahead, did a little bit of uh, beating of the, all these trainers up here. But first, we're going to go into this house here. And this guy, much like the fisherman in Vermilion, will give you a fishing rod of some kind. This is the super rod, which is the best fishing rod you can get in the game. So, if you're waiting to this point to maybe catch a certain water type that you needed the super rod for, now would be that time that you can do so. Um, he has a request to catch a big match carp. That's really not. I mean, you could do that if you want to, but there's just real no point to it. It's not required or nothing. So, okay. With that said, uh, actually, real quick, I think there's something like around here. I hate to waste time. Okay, I don't know. If there's something around there, there's something around there. But, um, I faced all these trainers, even this guy over here. Got them all out of the way. Now, I did leave a section of trainers alone that I'm going to do in this episode, because I didn't want to do every single trainer, because there's like, that would be no fun. They have nothing left to, to do. So all these trainers I did, though, because this would have taken, what, token? No, token is not a word. Would have taken a long time to do. Might have actually taken two episodes if I were to do this whole route on camera. So, I did, went ahead, took care of every single trainer around here. Made sure I faced everybody. These guys over here. Those bikers way over there. This guy over here. That guy. These girls. And I left off in this area. So first I'm going to start off with this area up here. And take on her. <coughs> so... She's got two Pokemon, Pikachu. I did not move my Pokemon around, so I hope that... Oh, okay. Of course. One of the two members on my team that actually would be weak to a Pikachu. Just my luck. Oh, but I, I did a decent amount of damage. Okay. I guess I don't really have a whole lot to worry about then. Hopefully I can hit him, because he's lowering his evasiveness, or raising it, actually. Makes it a lot harder to do. Alright. Now let's see. Raichu. I will be switching. Not to something that's going to be strong against it necessarily. But. To. I don't know if you noticed. But a lot of my Pokemon are actually a lot stronger. Because I did all those trainers. So. That's another reason why I wanted to kind of leave these. Is um. I don't want to maybe have somebody accidentally get to the point of evolving and I am too busy fighting all these trainers so I wanted to kind of leave that opportunity to be available. Ooh, well, I'm not liking this. Okay. And I could have easily came through and just beat all of these trainers as well but I thought I would Leave that in. I did not get any items because I'm holding off until we get to this new town to do so. All right, here's a, a group, or not a group, but a little tag team, I guess you could put it. Ooh, and they got the Hitmon brothers, which we have yet to see, but it won't be quite too long before we do. Ooh, okay, that did not go well. Um, we're gonna go with Trapper, I guess. Really, the ideal person is Pecker to take on these two. <coughs> so there is one. And hopefully you could take him out. Uh, maybe put him to sleep. Make it a little easier, that way you can't do any unnecessary damage. I take a tactic to put him to sleep and take him out. Alright. There's that. Okay, and I 
think there might be one or two more battles up here. That would be one. Then there's this item. Here, we'll grab this item real quick. Rain Dance. Okay. I'll talk to her. Take her on. If I've ever, even ever seen that move being used before. Okay. Well, I get to see it twice. That's actually kind of a cool effect, I gotta be honest. There we go. Skull Fairies is actually kind of annoying. I think I want to, even though level-wise this isn't the most intelligent thing, I want to switch over to Franklin, because I'd like to see if I could try to get him to evolve here, you know, here quickly, I guess the best way to put it. Uh, yeah, I can go down here. It's quite a few trainers down here, I'm thinking it'll be enough to at least give him one level. You know, because honestly, this this episode would be pretty anticlimactic unless I can get that to go down. Because it's not a very eventful episode, to be quite honest. So that'd be kind of something nice to have go down in this episode. Of course, I have to get the entire bar to go up this time. It's not like it's close to it or anything. But that shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I'm sure these two coughings pretty much are, yeah, put it up at least a third of the way there. And then a wheezing the top of, I'm sure that just with this guy, I'm probably, as long as I can beat it all, I'm sure with just this guy, I probably will get the, the level. After I defeat all five of his Pokemon, it'll be, it gotta be the level. I, I just can feel it. Or it'll at least be Damn near close. Oh, well, you know what? I actually may not be able to do it. It might be like right, like by a hair left afterward. Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be left with like a tiny amount, like the littlest amount. Unless this grammar for some reason gives me enough, but in fact it might even give me less than coughing. Oh, or not. I'm thinking because it took two, it's going to take two hits, maybe it will give me more experience, let's hope. Oh, if I can actually hit him. Come on, give me what I'm looking for. Well, it'll take one more battle, but that's not that hard. Alright. You are the lucky individual to get my starter to evolve into its final form. At least its final form in this game. It'll possibly get to his other forms in future games that I may play. But that's that's quite a while away before something like that's going to probably go down. I should have probably just gone with the uh, water poles, but I don't know why I went ice beam. All right, and with that, this coughing should be the needed push we have, or the needed push that we need. What? It's kind of a uh, oxymoron a little bit there. Needed push, I need. Obviously, I need it if it's a needed push. Anyway, okay, switching over, we're gonna go with. Let's go, Eddie. Okay, do a little bit of Thunderbolt. Ooh, 
critical hit now. I like that. Alright. And with that, we will now have our most exciting moment of this episode. And voila, we now have ourselves a Blastoise, Franklin the Blastoise. We can now put him to the back of the line, because he's now the strongest member. As he probably should be as my starter. Alright, let's see how well we can do with these last few... Uh, trainers. Hopefully we can take them out quite easily. Okay, sorry. No lack of talking, not a good idea. Alright, um... I really don't know what to talk about for the rest of this, but let's see. Um... It appears that our team, for the most part, is coming to its... ending. Of course, we haven't found our last member, but that will... Spoilers, or little hint hint. Our next member will not be too long from now, actually. And we'll be getting our last and final member pretty soon. And then it's just a matter of getting everybody to their final forms and whatever method that may be. And uh, finishing up the gym leaders and any other little side quests that are needed to def the beat the game. And then we are on our way home. Now, I'm not saying that we're near the end of the game already. We're, we're not. We still have a decent bit to go, but... We've definitely taken a great journey so far, and I've deeply enjoyed it, and I hope everybody who's watching this has as well. I hope you all have. Because that's what I seek to do here, is to entertain and give some sort of content for you to watch and hopefully enjoy. But it's all I can ask is that you stick by me and follow me in my journeys to producing you guys or providing you guys with some good content I should say producing you guys some good content I don't know that just sounds funky but I'm probably gonna die now that I've been talking about nonsense and not paying attention because this poison's probably going to be what takes me out and I was right. Okay. Well, that wasn't fun. Hopefully Pecker can sustain enough to get through and take out this Ivysaur, because that'd be the best case scenario, but we will have to see. I think we're good. Alright. Uh, maybe that'll get Pecker up to 35, too, while we're at it? It will. Alright, good stuff. I like it. Alright. <clears throat> good stuff. Okay, moving on. I think this will be our last person, and I think, yeah, hopefully Trapper can take care of her. Oh no, it's not. I don't even know. We may have quite a few people left. We'll have to see. Hopefully not too many people, though. Alright, um, I'm gonna go sleep powder. Put her to sleep. And then I'm going to 
go ahead and use acid, even though I don't know if it'll be that effective, but... Oh, that's good. I definitely want to go with that, so... A heavy hitter, at least. And hopefully he'll stay asleep, so I can lay out one more acid on him. Alright, and that is that. Okay, now we got Oddish, which I'm going to try going without putting it to sleep. I'm hoping I can just acid my way through beating it. Should be a little bit weaker than the gloom I just faced, so yeah. Oh, and she's doing her own little version of acid on me. But sadly, or not sadly, but sadly for her, I'm stronger, so she didn't really stand much of a chance. Alright, and one more Oddish, which should go out just as easy as the last. At least let's hope so. That'd be best case scenario is that I could take it out with no issue. No little tricks or nothing. Yep. And that's, and there it is. Alright. Okay. Oh, we might have quite a few more trainers actually ahead of us now that I look at it. Ooh, a Doug Trio. Or not, not a Doug Trio, a Doug Duro. Doug Trio. What am I talking about? Doug Trio. Doug. Doug. Doug Duro. Well, I'm drawing a total blank on how to pronounce this guy's name. Dodrio. Do Dodrio. Dodrio. Yeah. Well, I don't know what. I'm tired. I guess I need to go to bed. Because I'm having a real hard time pronouncing that. That would took. I was having so much tongue, so much of a tongue tie over that, and that would, should not have. Okay. That's that. Now, do, that's Do Duo. Alright. I can at least do that one. Um, I'm gonna go Acid. Even though he's 36, I should probably switch over to something that's not 36. You know, get a little bit of experience elsewhere, but... Well, at least finish this battle up. Okay. I guess this person likes the multi headed birds, I guess. Kind of strange. I always found that kind of weird when. Like trainers would have like the literally same the literal same Pokemon like numerous times. It's like there is a possibility you can have a little variety, can't you? I guess he's a bird catcher, but there's other types of birds besides that one. And it's evolution. Okay. Um I guess we could try to get Pecker to get a little more experience. I don't know how much or not how many more, I should say, how many more trainers there are, but... I didn't quite believe there was this many trainers out here, actually. There's a lot more trainers than I thought there would be. I'm gonna lo and I'm losing a lot more of my members on my team, too, than I would like to as well. Okay, I don't, yeah, I don't think Pecker actually has an item on him. Okay. Take that on his no duo. Oh, try attack. Ooh, alright. Wasn't expecting that. I didn't think it was going to do that much, but. Alright. Let's see. Pidgey. Hopefully, I'm a little bit faster, that way... Okay, and that's it. Alright, well... I guess we're gonna have our first appearance of Franklin as a Blastoise here. I'll use a little bit of a Water Pulse on uh, this Pidgey here. And 
Oh, good lord. Alright, she's it. We got literally two Pokemon left on her, of our team, that are still kicking. And we need to hopefully take her out. Hopefully she's only got like one Pokemon, because, boy, was I underestimating how many trainers were in this little section left here. I only thought it was going to be like six total, not like six just on the bottom row. I don't even know, there's probably more than six actually on the bottom row there that I faced. Alright, paralyzed me, great. You know, just my luck, you know. And I'm paralyzed, you know. I'm just not having very good luck here, am I? Alright. We are going to switch. I'm going to let Franklin hopefully finish this up. Hopefully he'll be good enough to... Hopefully he's got two grass types or something like that. That way... Oh, well. I was going to use Ice Beam, but... Hopefully... Oh, yeah, okay. See, because I didn't think any of this would actually do much unless I did, like, an Ice Beam. But, alright. I'm hoping that the second one he has is, like, another Oddish or another type of grass type or something like that. That way I can take it out with an Ice Beam as well. That would make this nice, simple, easy finish. And... Tangela! Alright. That'll work. I can work with that. Alright. And with that done, I'm gonna leave it off here. So if you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed, or if you enjoy my content. Uh, and uh, leave me a comment, or uh, maybe a suggestion of some kind. Alright, so I'll talk to you guys later.